What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a shaking blur transition in Vegas Pro 15. So here we are in Vegas Pro 15, I have this clip right here along with this clip right here, so two time lapses. Now what we're going to be doing is coming to the center of this left clip while it is selected and we're going to come back 10 keyframes. So you can see we're currently at 25, what we're going to be doing is going to 15. And then we're going to press S on our keyboard to split it. And then for the clip on the right, we're going to come across 10 frames. So we're currently at 25, which is going to take us to 5. So you can see right there. And we're going to press S on our keyboard to split it. So now we have these two clips here, which we'll be creating the transition with. So the first thing we're going to be doing is working with this left clip. We're going to come to the pan and crop. Now all we're going to be doing is zooming in very slightly. So using size about center along with lock aspect ratio, come to a corner and simply bring it in just a little bit. There we go. And now have sync cursor checked and just simply click across on your timeline wherever you want to and just keep dragging this box somewhere else. Now this is going to create the um, shake for us. And then for the very last keyframe, come right to the end, simply right click and select restore. This is going to put it back to normal. Now what we can do is come to the very first keyframe, hold shift and select the very last keyframe. So now you can see all of them are highlighted and press control C. You can X out of this and head over to the next 10 frames on the next clip, come to the pan and crop, and then we can come to the very first frame and press control V. What this will do is paste in all the frames from the previous one so we don't have to worry about putting them all in again. Now with this one on the very last frame you want to right click it and select smooth. And then we can X out of it and now we need to head over to video effects. Now from video effects we're going to come all the way to linear blur. So you can see it is right here. Now there's a bunch of different ones you can use and it is completely optional. There's no right and there's no wrong. Um, me personally, I'm going to be using the 30 degrees light and I'm going to drag it onto our first clip here. So you can see this is the effect it has done. Um, what we're going to be doing is coming to where the amount is and toggling the animation. So at the very beginning, I'm going to set the amount to zero, but then I'm going to come across to the end and I'm going to set that amount to about 0.2. You can see right there. I'm going to X out of it and I'm going to drag on 30 degrees light onto the next clip. This time we're going to start the amount quite high. Um, again, the, try and get it the same what you've just done. So mine was this and then press the animation button. And this time at the very end, we're going to turn the amount to zero. So from there we can X out of this because that is now completed and the whole transition is done. So if I play this through now, this is what we have. You can see just like that, a blur transition or shake and blur transition completed like that. Now, one thing to point out, which is very important um, on the pan and crop, what you need to do is literally zoom in a little bit because if you zoom in too much, then the shake won't look very good. So you can see right now, the shake looks really smooth, as you can see. But if you zoom in too much, it will look pretty distort because remember after the shake, we come back to the normal uh, size video. So from this to that, you can see it's a smoother transition. If you were zoomed in more, it won't be as smooth. So that's just something to remember. But that is how simple it is to create a shaking blur transition in Vegas Pro 15.